All right, I'm gonna try to do this without any kind of script. Captain Sparkles, if you're watching this, I appreciate it. But uh, this is my kind of rendition based off your first episode of the new series. <clears throat> uh, using only materials that should be available to you in your local area. A little bit of clay, some oak, which I think I saw nearby, or if not, it's not too hard to come across. <coughs> Birch leaves. Uh, I got a whole chest of this stuff. But the one thing to note is these stripped birch windows from Macaw's windows. And as you can see inside, let's go in real quick. Uh, the double street lamp post from Macaw's lights and lamps, which that's three on top of each other. It's pretty cool how that works. But before I kind of tour it as much. Uh, these are a couple blocks I didn't use from the original build. As well as some other ones that couldn't fit into the chest inside. <coughs> and this is what it should look like when you go in. And that can turn on. Although you won't really need it because you have a jack-o'-lantern in the corner for lighting. Kind of like a night light, but um, it just makes it a little bit brighter in here, although I don't think it's ne don't think it's necessary. And this is the rest of the blocks I used. Uh, again, the cherry doors, trap doors, all that you saw that you had before. I have seen your newest episode. <clears throat> it took me a, a while to get around to this because of life and stuff. But I saw it at the the same biome that's just some blocks i stacked up from other mods um a couple different varieties jack ronda but i did go ahead and uh make sure i found the same biome so the grass color be the same to help i guess tie it in And as you might can tell, this is a different color of wood than this. I use a little bit of cypress and birch planks, and it gives a nice kind of subtle gradient kind of thing on the roof. It's not much of a gradient, but it gives it a little bit more texture, the more color depth. And also over here in the corners, as you might can tell, I extended out the both the roof and the framing. Of the house a little bit kept the original framing but i expanded it so you'd have more room for i guess the same amount of room but it would be more properly framed in uh trees off to the sides i know you used these yellow birch leaves in your video here Surrounded by those birch trap doors, which you know looks pretty cool too. This isn't made to complain. This is made to show up, show options that are available. They grab some birch trap doors from over here. Put that back. And I'm gonna go through how to kind of build this. Kids. Even though it is similar, I did incorporate a lot of little details and shape and color. So for example, this is a strip version of your prior framing. Strip cypress. And on the inside, I used a little bit of slabs, uh, some strip birch logs. So you have that little bit more color differentiation and also kind of make the roof more separate. I went ahead and put some cypress trap doors over this because it gives it kind of a night light feel. Put some carpet here so if I were to sleep. <clears throat> uh, ignore the play sounds. That's um, <clears throat> anyway. Uh, that abyss mod aside. Yeah, it's got to get a little carpet over yourself, a little, a little blanket. 
but try to make again try to make use of everything you have available to you uh it's pretty simple it's pretty simple then you grab the basics and i will go from there so it's again same thing you got a baseline of four of those all the way around destroy that for now I could build it up but nah just gonna shove it back in the corner <clears throat> I think that's another mod you might not have um <clears throat> I am using a different mod pack, also custom, uh, not my own, it's one someone else made, or a server I play on. Definitely uh, willing to show the link if you would like that. But I, I did try to base this as closely to your original design as I could. while also incorporating a few build techniques that kind of make it stand out and pop a little more. So for example, one thing I've learned is by extending your framing out from this let me get rid of grass. This stuff too. I'll just put down the first floor since I think that's what you have. Uh, by extending this out a little bit. And it's going to look a little weird at first until you get the. Uh, inside framing to look more like your actual walls by either making it planks or just stripping it down it's a very interesting color palette you went with and honestly i'm a fan like it looks really cool i wouldn't have went with it myself but then again i didn't realize how it would actually wind up. I didn't realize that this would actually be really, uh, really cool. And I usually do all kinds of crazy different palettes. You should see the thing off in the distance down there. Which I'll probably show separately. Like so. And then I'll just grab I just do this in full blocks for now, so that looks quite a bit better. I would, I would think. I mean, it has a certain charm to it, yeah. But it needs decoration to tie it back in. So for now, I'm just gonna do full block roof to kind of display a little bit more shape as well. <clears throat> And again, how that can kind of play on making things look nicer. And then do do do. And over. And then up. So this is the basic roof shape we have. And that's a more smoothed out version. I'm just going to take the outside here. Or this down a little bit. So that's more or less the basic shape of the roof, right? 
it's nothing to write home about. But you grab you some flowers. Just gonna keep using birch for now. And you kind of bring it out a little bit. And actually I'm just gonna use full blocks for this on the back. Bring that a little bit. And now you have an overhang. That looks nice and all. And I'll do the back separately. Just for just purposes of showing this off. Then, if you also have a separate area here, which I should do this with the other block, but for now, same one, uh, that gives it more depth, yeah? But, if you go back just one more, just one more, and I will grab the, uh, I'll grab the cherry block, the block, this. <coughs> <clears throat> then you have yet another layer of depth. And it does look a little weird there in the corners. So, yeah, fill in with some rich. Okay. And that's cool and all, but it looks a little too deep. Yeah. So, do this. Does that help? Well, no, because then still see that birch at the bottom that's kind of awkward and then that's still kind of awkward because now it just looks a little thick so my solution and this is not something I've done before this particular technique is I use stairs I give it that kind of Almost a full block. And there. Do like so. On this one, I you can see I did use um, birch. And I also didn't make it as deep right there because that looks weird. Just copied it wrong. Copied it wrong again. Gonna do like so, and then I used a birch slab, kind of top it off and close in a little more. You could probably do the same effect with um, walls if this was a stone type block, but unfortunately it's wood and fences. Oh, I haven't actually tried a fence. Let me let me do that real quick. So now I'm curious. Cherry. I can type cherry fence. Let's see if I'll be on the fence about this. Bad puns are bad. I don't know. It's not terrible, but it does have uh, exposed bits. So, not necessarily ideal, but I can cover that up. Although, then I have to cover it on the inside somehow. No, that, that just doesn't work. Okay. Sorry, I just wanted to try that. Um, I'm going to probably redo this. Because it is getting a bit long already. 14 minutes long of me just faffing about. <clears throat> no one wants to watch that. But you can speed this up. And... So then over here... I have a little bit of that framing left behind to kind of give it a sense of this is where the you know the wall is just have a little bit of an inset right there and also to kind of <clears throat> I'm not sure but actually that might work better I can lie, that might work. That might work a little better right there. I don't know. But uh, then I kind of made the roof not completely straight all the way across to give it a little bit of roughness, a little bit more depth and shape. Give it a, like kind of a slight angle, maybe. Uh, 
Oh, speaking of the sleeping thing, let me do that now. I should probably, um, slash clear. Chat. Uh, I don't know what the clear command does. I thought it was, I thought that there was a chat clearing command. I guess not. <clears throat> and quickly grab some doors. And what you did was this. That's fine and all. But if you flip them the other way, it gives a little more depth. And now it's a bit more interesting to look at. Actually, going back to the roof over here, if we use slabs there or stairs instead and grab some <coughs> excuse me grab some of those uh those are cypress stairs i don't i didn't use birch stairs i will just use these i guess it'll look a little weird but it's fine yeah, it's not fine actually actually grab some birch stairs I did make a vanilla version of this, purely vanilla, using 1.19 blocks and materials. In bedrock, actually. Did it on my phone because, well, you know, I. I was bored at work. Didn't you know how it, how it goes. Well, I mean, I guess not so much necessarily now because you've been doing do for a while. Let me swap all these out for stairs. This is going to be a show off a slightly more detailed version of the same thing. And this is probably going into too much detail at this point on what makes things look nice and what makes things look weird or something i don't know yeah. <clears throat> so you can kind of see like this side versus that side this obviously looks way better way less blocky but compare that to this kind of roof shape and it's takes it from simple yet smooth to complex and elegant. I'm not going to recreate that fully because it would just take a little bit more time than I would like to spend on this uh, particular video. This is already 19 minutes long. Something I did. I'm going to use Cypress again on the inside. Just minimize the amount of blocks using here and that's more or less what we had before as well so no difference there and it's going to and that does give a little bit of a not quite the same effect as over there it's not as nice because it's a different color entirely it's a more pale yellow as opposed to tan or very light brown but it does give a little bit more of an effect of breaking things up and just kind of tying things together a little nicer And I don't remember what you had going on there, in the middle. So I'm just going to leave that as is. Pretty sure you had it somewhat filled in. That seems about right. Um, and you use full blocks of glass. So let me... Grab one of those. 
And if you don't want to use the Windows mod uh, that, I'm, that I'm using, which is nice for decoration. There are lots of different versions. And not just glass ones either, I could show you. Oh. But I'm sure that's something you can... If you want to look into that, you can look into that on your own time. I don't want to waste too much. So that's with, you know, no up to find, but full block windows. Nothing wrong with that. Looks very classy. But to give it more depth, what you can do is glass. And of course, stained glass and stuff you can use. You do have Botania, so mana glass is an option. That's pretty easy to make. I'll just grab one of those for uh, sake of demonstration. And elf glass might look cool as well. But when I was designing this originally, I was just going off of what you had in your first episode. So I'm aware you have Cinecite and, and Cinecite lanterns now. Uh, those can be used to make. Actually, let's just go in here and I will grab some of those. Large and the small. So I do have access to these as well. But you have the inner block there. It may not work necessarily with this build. It may work better to have full block glass in hindsight. Or to have a fancier uh, window that ties things in better. So back here I will try the... Um, and a glass, which does give off light, strangely enough. Um, doesn't quite look right, though. What about the elf glass? That looks a little better. But, yeah, there's lots of options to experiment around with. Minecraft is, of course, a very creative block game. I do appreciate you watching this. Uh, I know I missed a few things, but I need to try to tie this up pretty quick. Yeah. Um, again, I did use the cypress sapling down here, which is readily available to you. Next up, decently nicely with the birch leaves. I did try the cypress leaves, but um, I like can show how well that went. It's a completely different shade of green. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but... <clears throat> it just doesn't work out quite as well. You can use, you know, cactus or any other thing. Uh, if you have supplementaries, I think you can place sticks. I know I can place sticks. I think that's the mod that does it. It's a cool mod. Adds a few nifty little things, but nothing terribly interesting so this you could technically just do that it looks really weird but technically does work um just gonna place that back down and try to wrap this up i haven't done a video in ages so i'm extremely rusty with this it's the first time i've recorded anything in years <clears throat> so apologies for that but i guess i'll end it here thank you for watching and i hope you enjoy my very strange rant that hopefully wasn't way too over explanatory It probably was anyway. Uh, so I will catch you in the next little episode, I guess, where I show off this thing, which is a little strange. 
All right. Take care.